Good morning students. Today we are going to move to our next chapter. That is chapter 6, Birds of a Feather, page number 70. First of all, we will read what is in this poem. In this poem, Birds of the Feather, there are two poems. First is the Grekel and second is the Stocks Fly Not. Okay, here we will be enjoying two poems about birds and we will be learning the different attitudes of two different poets about birds. First let us see in these two poems that you will read both the poets marvel at the fascinating world of birds. So here the poets, both the poets will let us know about the world of birds, the character or the very definition of different birds. They bring out different aspects of the two birds. So here the two poets will bring out the different characteristics of the two birds. The Grekel and the Stork. So the first poem is the Grekel. Here the bird Grekel is described by Ordered Nash. While one talks about the eccentricities of the bird in loving jest, the other renders an ode to the beauty and grace of the stork. What is eccentricities? It is that the deviation from the established pattern. I mean, usually we are known, no, that birds are very beautiful, they sing nicely, they are very appealing, they are very nice creatures. But here, this pattern, the nice pattern of the birds is jokingly given an opposite direction by the Poet Orden Nash. Here Orden Nash in a joking matter or in a joke. Here see loving jest means in a joking matter. In a playful matter he has described the crackle in a opposite pattern of how we usually describe a bird. Okay. Now let us see about the Author first, Frederick Orden Nash was an American poet famous for his humorous poetry of which he wrote over 500 pieces. Nash loved to rhyme and he won large following for his light verse. He published his first collection of poem in 1931, Hard Lines, which earned him national recognition. And one poem by Nash, The Cow, is another poem by Nash. It's only about two lines. And in these two lines, he has described so nicely about the cow. And he got very nice recognition from that poem also. But here, we will learn about the grackle, the bird, by Auden Nash. So, what are actually grackle? Grackle are medium-sized black birds. Their plumage is black and has a sheen that is glossy and iridescent. What is plumage? The feathers, okay? The feather feathers of the bird that covers the bird's body is usually black, but it has a smooth shine coloring to it. Okay? Generally, their heads, neck and breasts are glossy, purplish, bluish or bluish green. They live in tropical and temperate parts of America. Grekel are noisy birds and almost sound like a squeaking rusty gate. They are intelligent, elegant bird, irksome. What is irksome? Means irritating and annoying. So these birds, they are usually noisy. And they sound like they are out of practice or they are old-fashioned. Rusty gate means old-fashioned or 
old way of telling something now what is iridescent iridescent is showing luminous colors from different directions or different angles you must have seen different uh, clothes also no in your lifetime like from one angle it is given different color and from another angle it is different given uh, showing different colors so likewise this bird also it has this pattern what pattern it shows different colors from different angles now what are the colors here it is described here purplish blue or bluish gray glossy colors so this is about the bird greco now we will go to the poem the greco the greco's voice is less than a mellow his heart is black his eyes is yellow he bullies a more attractive birds with hoodlum deeds and vulgar words and should the human interfere attacks that human in the rear i cannot help but deem the greckel an ornithological debacle or the nash so this is the poem and in the first line it is saying that the greckel's voice is less than a mellow now what is mellow mellow is the sweet sounding of a bird so the greckel voice is not at all sweet the author is telling his heart is black and his eyes is yellow his heart is black is the color of the heart black on the bird no here the author is not telling about the very color of the heart it is telling that its characteristics that its heart is black means it is not a good bird in one sense okay he bullies why it is not a good bird or why his heart is black because he bullies more attractive bird what is bullies bullies means to dominate he dominates other birds with hoodlum deeds and vulgar words he badly behaves with other birds with hoodlum deeds means badly behave he behaves very badly with other birds and with vulgar words now words what does it mean does a bird speak like us languages no but they have their own language and obviously he is not at all sweet is his fellow birds and should the human interfere attacks that human in the rear and if a human being by chance goes towards him and interfere in his deeds the human will also be attacked by that bird i cannot help but deem the greco so the author is telling that i cannot help myself but i can, i can view the greco as an ornithological debacle now what is ornithological ornithological is a branch of science that deals with birds and debacle is failure so the author is telling that i cannot help myself but tell that this greckle the bird greckle is a failure to the study of birds now why the author is telling like this the science or the reason behind that the author is telling that the science of reading birds is a failure because first of all its voice is not at all sweet second he behaves very rudely or behaves very badly or harshly with other fellow birds and thirdly he at attacks human beings too when human beings come in contact with him so he is like a stain 
in the name of a bird we usually see a bird as a beautiful creature yes or no flying in the sky very beautiful to look at we like to hear the sweet uh, voice of the bird in the morning and whenever we hear anything bird chirping outside our windows or anywhere we hear we get a soothing feeling isn't it but here or the nash is telling that this bird the grackle is totally opposite the characteristics of a bird it is not at all sweet it is not at all a having a soothing sound and it bullies other birds too how does it bully with his deeds with his vulgar words i mean maybe he shouts he shouts like a squeaking sound he makes so with his squeaking sound he behaves very badly with the other birds and if a human being come in contact with him it also doesn't spare him yes it attacks the human being too and then the author said i cannot help myself but tell that it is an ornithological failure it is a failure in the history of the study of birds thank you have a great day ahead